Oh, no. They think their kids are in danger from each other. Whoa, it's a rarely seen battle of Arctic Titans. Forget dancing babies. A big battle is much better. All right, the polar bear has the advantage here. Moving really well, like she's dancing on ice. But the walrus is clumsy on land like a giant blubber balloon. With no legs, she's got to drag herself back to the water. Can she make it before the polar bear? Oh! Whoa, now the tables are turned. Even though the polar bear's a good swimmer, the walrus is built for underwater. Down here, the walrus is pure fluid swimming power. With the tusk, she's pulling the bear under. I'll grab the cup. I've got the cap. Yeah. Get their mothers. I'll distract them. It's all over, Varmatech. Stealing little wild animals, and you think you're the world's greatest mind? More like the world's greatest pain in a bear's behind. What? No, I found these tender little ones and wanted to return them to their families. I was looking all over for you two. What are you talking about? We saw you waving bye-bye with the walrus flipper. No, 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 it was holding my head. Must have thought I was its mommy. Can somebody get frostbite of the brain? But I am so worried now. You've got to find their mothers. I'll just go look over there. See ya. Hey, where are the moms? Yeah, where are they? Those wild rats can have your stinky kittens. You're the bigger prize, and I've got plans for you. But first, I'm going to trick Chris and Martin and get rid of them forever. <laughs> Chris! I found them! Go on to your ma, Poby. I'll hang with you later. Back to where you belong, living free and in the wild. We did it! Yeah. What's going on? You're so easily fooled. I've got the fighting mommies now. I almost feel bad beating you like this. Almost. <laughs> hey, have an ice time. I lured you into an Arctic storm. <laughs> what? Tell me this is a joke. If it is, I think we're the punchline. Prepare to get sucked. The storm moved in so fast. Where are the crab bros? I don't have any visual. What about the mother bear and walrus? We gotta save them too. <laughs> That's the spirit, Sasquatch, but save it for each other. Now, I'll equip you two with titanium battle wear, and tonight you'll fight for me at the opening of my Arctic Ice Hotel. I'll be king of the ice world. Take me there. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Bring on the creature powers! Okay, I pre-programmed the disc for sperm whale and giant squid, but I haven't run any trials. It's too soon, and I obviously haven't figured out how to deal with the pressure. We'll have to rely on the code found in the whale and squid DNA. What do they always mean, DNA? DNA is the biological code that gives every animal their special features. Every type of animal has their own DNA code hidden in every cell of their body. But how are you going to access the DNA code when you can't even touch the animals? Uh, hello? I'm touching a giant squid right now. I was slimed by the giant squid, remember? I'm covered with squid slime. Ah, and I've got a whale tooth. Activate creature power suit! Ah! Gotta get to the water. I'm just a blob of jelly with eight arms. Wait a second. Did you say arms? Don't you mean tentacles? Hey, I've got those too. Squids have both arms and tentacles. The eight shorter ones are arms. You can tell because they have suckers all the way down. Oh, so the two longer ones are the tentacles. They only have suckers on the ends. Whoa, that's awesome. Uh, need water to move. Oops, sorry guys. Oh, yeah! These are the best creature power suits ever! Let's dive! Giant Squid, ruler of the 
deep. Oh, I could eat you right now. I've got teeth. I'm a toothed whale. That's up, big head. Tentacle un Oh! Woohoo! <laughs> Martin, we gotta follow the real sperm whale and giant squid before it's too late. Let's go! How deep can they go in those suits? I admit it. I'm out of my depth when it comes to dealing with the pressure of the deep. Just hope the secrets of the whale and the squid are in the creature power suits. I'll be keeping one giant squid eye on the pressure gauges. We're passing the depth where the sub crumpled. Feeling a little squeezed, but good. How about you, bro? Comfy. Like snoozing in a bed of jelly. How's that comfy? It's a squid thing. Hey, the squid and the whale. They're still at it. If the whale gets enough of the squid in her mouth, call it calamari, lunch over. Not so fast. This mollusk monster is getting a grip. Arm slashed on. And remember, those suction cups have cutting edges. Ouch. That's where she got those sucker scars. But with every shake, the squid gets sucked deeper into the whale's mouth. The squid knows better. He's thinking, not gonna let that happen. Ink blast! Oh, whoa, didn't see that coming. Yuck. Listen, that's Bumper. He sounds scared. A ghost net! Bumper's mom! The net's dragging her down! Even sperm whales can't go deeper than 1,200 meters. Okay, she can hold her breath for 100 minutes max. We have to save Mom. To the creature rescue! <sighs> you know, maybe this wasn't a great idea after all. Yeah. <sighs> or maybe it was. Look, a uh, hispid hair. Ah, like I said, it was a great idea. All hares seek shelter from weather and predators in dense thickets like this. Aviva, we've got a hispid, but we need those rabbit suits to get him back. A hispid? That's great! But I'm not done with the suit yet. Uh, but we need it to walk him through all this snow. Hey, I've got it! We've got basilisk power. Basilisk lizards have big feet to walk on squishy water. It's the same idea as the hares, who have big feet to walk on fluffy snow. Only one problem. There are no basilisk lizards around to activate your suits. Uh... Wait, I got it. Mm -hmm. Chocolate? Uh, I mean, uh -huh. here we go. I saved this shed basilisk skin just for a time like this. Great! Activate Basilisk Power! <laughs> Hop on, Hispid. Time to go. Hang on, pal. To the creature rescue! Ha-ha! <laughs> this is working great! It's cold! Oh, oh, cold! 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 Is that a basilisk lizard pulling a sled with a hair in it? Nah. Cool. Ah, ha, ha. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, his been delivery. You did it. Oh. Hello, his bed. Oh, we're so sorry. I'm heading back out. Do you have a snowshoe hair suit ready yet? Furry feet would be much warmer. Uh, not quite, but soon. Promise. Okay. I gotta head back out. Got you covered, CK. This'll warm you up. Oh, great. But better than nothing. Okay, I'm gone. Good, Good luck. luck! Go, Basilisk dude! Hey, Chris, we've got another mystery to solve. I think Zack Zackbots were just spying on us. Hey, stop! After them! The Manta Riders! They must have been destroyed in the Walrus Stampede. Yeesh! How many Manta Riders are you gonna destroy in a week? Uh, can we tell you at the end of the week? <gasps> the Zackbots are getting away! We need Walrus Swimming Power! Activate, Activate Creature, creature power, power Suits! <laughs> To the 
the Creature Rescue! With my mind control helmet, I'll make the Sealy thingies collect all the pearls in the sea, including the Arctic Pearl! Arctic Pearl? Arctic, Arctic Pearl? Pearl? Here it is! The priceless Arctic Pearl was stolen yesterday by what appeared to be an odd little girl. She's more than odd, crew! She's a Zackbot! Which means Zack's up to no good. So that's what he's up to. Zack's hypnotizing them to use their tusks and whiskers to find clams. Then the conveyor belt is sending them up to the surface. He's got other walruses sucking them all open. So he can find the Arctic Pearl and all the pearls in the sea. He's force feeding them. He's got Blobby. We've got to stop Zack. But how? I've got it. Let's pretend we're walruses and infiltrate the chain. Mark, we're wearing walrus suits. He'll never buy it. <gasps> oh, goody. I've got two more. Connect them to the others. Told you. Zack couldn't tell a walrus from a wombat. Nothing. Huh. Should I be worried? Or are they ignoring me because they found some cool creature? Aviva? Jimmy? Out here! Huh? Hi, Koki. Another cool drink, please, Jimmy. My pleasure. See? It's warm in here, all right. Heat melts snow back to water. It's a snow-free zone. I hate to disturb your beach vacation, but Chris and Martin aren't answering the creature pods. Koki, I know what's going to happen. We'll do this big search and then find out that they were chasing a creature and having a great time. Guaranteed. <gasps> Got it! Got what? The thing that was stuck in my teeth. It's a... Uh... A rocket jet flight module? What? I thought that was a pretty yucky snowflake I caught in my mouth. I just didn't know it was really the mini rocket jet. I spit it right out. Oh. Okay, well, the rocket jet has ground gear, so Chris and Martin may be somewhere out there in the snow, but they're not stranded. They're probably fine. We better go out there and have a look, just in case. Aren't you coming? Well, someone's got to watch the beach. Don't overheat. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Woohoo! Right behind you, Rolo. Man, I could hang out in the Subnivian Zone forever. Yeah, this is like a winter paradise. Warm, cozy, plenty to eat. Wait, there's nothing to eat. Where's the food down here anyway? Snowburger? Snow dogs? Snow on the cob! Kind of bland. Could use mustard. Hey, Bark! That's her lunch. They just feed on little trees and bushes that grow right through the snow. Ugh, I'd rather stick to snow burgers. <laughs> this is genius. The voles don't even have to leave the comfort of the Subnivian Zone to eat. And it's that nutritious cambium layer that they're after. Bark, roots, it's all down here for these little plant eaters. Okay, it's official. This is a winter paradise. A whole world we never even knew existed right under our feet. <laughs> um, guys, did you forget that the reason we're at the bottom of the sea is to find the creature power suits? Hey, I know it's important, Aviva but finding a new species is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. The suits can sit around for a while. Except for one problem. They can't last long in seawater and high pressure. It's sensitive technology. They need proper care. Martin lost the suits a kiss. What do you think? Well, uh, I agree with both of you. <laughs> hey, the suits and the octowalrus are both headed to the sea bottom, so why don't we just go down there? I have an idea. There are a few water caves ahead. We can search through the cracks and crevices with the manta riders. Octopuses love to hide out in places like that. 
Uh, I mean, the creature power suits might be stuck on a rock? The suits mean as much to us as they do to you, Aviva. We'll find them. Promise. Okay, I'll use the suckers on the octopod's arms to stick to the sea bottom in order to stick around. Just like the octopus's powerful suction grip. Okay, we're attached. Be careful, guys. I haven't been this excited since we almost discovered that new tropical slug. Turned out to be an old piece of gum, but it was fun while it lasted. Hey, this water cave looks like a good place for an octa walrus to hide. Hmm, maybe he's, I mean, the suits are in the cave. I <gasps> saw that wink, Chris. Whoa. Discover another new species? I don't know, but I think he discovered a new snack. Us! Aviva, open the portal! Shark! I'm in creature adventure heaven. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. I'm getting us out of here. Octo-jet propulsion! <laughs> <laughs> 